In this video, I'm going to talk about the Animal Farm, which launched two days ago. The launch was not smooth. A lot of things happened. I'm going to discuss those things that happened at launch, what's happening now, and what is going to happen soon. Before I get started, this is not financial advice. Do your own research. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes. I will also do a brief overview of the farm, how it works, how it operates, and all of those good things if you're new to the farm or new to DeFi or crypto investing or any of that. So the Animal Farm launched two days ago. It was supposed to launch at 11 a.m. It didn't launch till about five or six hours later. The contract addresses for the tokens were released. Then shortly after they were paused and then they were unpaused again. And in the telegram, I didn't see when they were unpaused. So it was not, it didn't seem to be very organized. Uh, there was a lot of issues with people swapping tokens, getting into liquidity pools, UI issues on the site. All the while there was money moving. So I watched this number go from zero to a couple million to up to, all the way up to 300 million. Okay. Before I could get in on certain liquidity pools. So all this money was moving and I was not able to get in on some liquidity pools. Another issue was the pre-sailers, which I was, full disclosure, I invested $2,200 in Rev at $250 per token right before the snapshot. I did not get in early like a lot of people did. And at the time of the launch of dog and pig tokens, the launch price was cheaper than the pre-sale price. So those who invested in Rev ended up paying more for the pig and dog tokens than the open market when they were open for trade. So obviously a lot of people had an issue with that. A matter of fact, I believe it was around eight times cheaper. So the price did pump, okay, which compensated for that. But I finished my first day at the animal farm, not breaking even on my pre-sale investment, which, you know, is rare. So a lot of people were, were not happy about that. And I understand that completely because people were thinking and believing they were going to break even and be profitable on day one, because in my opinion, that's pretty much what was said. That did not happen. Uh, that's not FUD. That's just sharing facts. I got to keep everything real. Okay. Unbiased. Uh, now, in defense of that, uh, I've done some research and it appears that the liquidity at the time before the snapshot would have only paid out $4.50 per rev token if every person went to cash out, which obviously every person wouldn't go to cash out at the same time or every person at all. But had every person uh, cashed out rev, there was only enough liquidity to pay out $4.50 per token instead of 240 or wherever it was at. You can confirm that math. I'm not 100% that that's certain, but I've done some research and that gave me a little bit more peace on the situation. In my opinion, the launch was not smooth. It was, it was crazy. I will share some positive notes from Forex Shark, some things that he has said, and you can take, take it and do with it what you will. Okay. Now, getting into the video. What is the Animal Farm? Well, it tells you right here. The Animal Farm is the first deflationary, fully decentralized ownership yield farm lending protocol where participants earn as an owner of the network. The super wealthy do not build and protect their wealth through selling their assets. They accumulate and then leverage their assets while living off the dividends. The animal farm captures this financial power and puts it in the hands of the platform's participants. Okay, so you can go ahead and read all this. Well, it's pretty short. I guess I'll just read it. Accumulate your share of the network by the farming pig governance tokens while leveraging your collateralized assets through our substrata lending protocol to collect a high yield BUSD dividend without ever selling your underlying assets. And I will explain all this. Deposit fees and taxes go to pig stakers as BUSD rewards. All taxes associated with core tokens go toward rewarding platform participants and generating BUSD rewards for stakers. Dynamic emission rates based on current demand allowing for price appreciation of dogs and pigs in all market conditions. Full governance protocol giving pig stakers a vote in future opportunities. Collateral staked on the platform is rehypothecated to pancake swap lending protocol to earn additional yield, which goes towards buying dogs and pigs directly from the market and sending them to a burn address. I know this is a lot. I'll go over it. 
Millions in BUSD rewards are ready in the vault, ready to pay out high yield BUSD dividends and buy the dogs, pigs directly off the market, removing them from circulation. From the developers of Drip, the fastest growing, highest ranked DeFi protocol on Binance Smart Chain. Now, I am very positive about the animal farm going forward. I personally think it's going to perform very well. I think this is something powerful. I don't think anything like this has been done yet. There will be speed bumps in the road. Things are not always going to go according to plan. All we can do now is focus here and now, and that's what I want to show you. So first of all, the pig pen is where you stake your pig. So remember, if you have pig tokens, you have an ownership in the protocol itself. So pig tokens equal an ownership in the protocol. And when you stake your pigs here, you will earn off of all of those fees that we just read, right? Now, real-time numbers, it's been 24 hours since I claimed or harvested. So off of this $1,922, I have made $3.35, which obviously is not a lot of money. Forex, I have notes from him uh, speaking of what is to come now. He said that this could 10x in the next week. It should 10x in the next week. So that would be a whole lot better than what it is now. And also... I want to. I, I invested twenty two hundred in in Rev, and I did invest another thousand in Pig yesterday, and another five hundred in Dog tokens because I do believe this is going to pump. So, and not just pump. I believe this is going to be a good mid to long term play, and it's going to generate passive income daily from yield farming. So, the main thing is you want to stake your pigs in here if you want to earn this dividends here, which will soon be ten times what it is now. Now, if we go to the farms, that's where you provide liquidity, which means you stake two tokens together. For example, dog token and BUSD, right? So you pair these two tokens together, you provide liquidity, and you earn interest on it. All these numbers are within the last 24 hours. I harvested 24 hours ago to track this myself. This is another important piece of information. If you do the numbers manually, you will see that they are different than these APRs shown here. So you're actually getting more than what this is saying. So in 24 hours, I've got $14.68, right? And then I'll divide that by the staked amount, which is 419.08. That equals about 3.5% daily, okay? 3.5% daily. So now if you multiply that times 365 days, that equals... 1,278. You'd have to move this decimal point decimal point over, right? So the APR on this would actually be 1,278, which is obviously way higher than that is, okay? So that's how you can calculate manually your actual returns. And that's why I threw a little bit of money in here to see what the actual returns are. Three and a half percent daily is very good in my opinion. Now, dogs and wrap BNB is similar. This is a UI issue. I'd have to look at the contract and all that to get the exact number. I put about 400 in here. So it's similar to that number, maybe 300. I don't recall exactly. That should be fixed any moment now. He said he's going to fix that. And then drip BUSD, you can do the same math. Got 1493 here, 24 hours off of $491. So you see they all round about, it's in the 3%, the three about 3.5% three a day. On average, from what I'm looking at, what I'm seeing with my numbers, which in my opinion is great. And then you can harvest. Now, this is pigs. So what we're doing is we're providing liquidity of dogs and BUSD paired, and we're earning pigs. There's a 0% deposit fee. However, there is, you're taking a risk of impermanent loss. So if you don't know what impermanent loss is when providing liquidity, Google impermanent loss. And the second thing you need to do is Google impermanent loss calculator. And then you can play with the numbers and see how much you would lose as the prices fluctuate. Now, if you're staking stable coins, there's no impermanent loss because they're pegged to the US dollar, BUSD and USDT. Therefore, the risk is much less. So there's a little lesson for you there. Now, if we look at the one-sided pools, they're not paying near as much. Okay. Now, I don't recall if this is 24 hours even. I don't think it is. Uh, not paying out a whole lot, but there's no risk of impermanent loss. You're simply staking the one-sided asset and you are earning a percentage on it. So you are earning something on your tokens. And then I only have one token in here, which is $122. It's made 83 cents, which obviously we're not going to retire on. 
So over here, there's wrapped BNB, right? One-sided staking. And I threw $100 in each of these to just see what they did in 24 hours. $2.44, 173 These have been more than 24 hours. I didn't claim these yesterday because they were so small. And then I also threw 100 in the cake right here. So you see that single-sided, you're going to get more bang for your buck in the farms, providing liquidity with the paired tokens, right? This is where you're going to get more bang. Now there's also the drip garden, drip liberation. If you want to pair drip and BUSD, you can simply go to drip liberation, right? And you could take your BUSD. You see, I got a little BUSD. I could do max and then you can, it will split your BUSD and give you half drip for it. And it will not charge you that 10% tax. And then you can take that and you can go over to the farms. Remember, farm is two cryptos paired together. Pools is single side assets. You can go to the place right here and you can just click plus and that's how you will add your liquidity, right? Now, if you're not sure how to add liquidity, you click details, then you will click get dogs BUSD right here. Then it will pull up pancake swap and then you will be able to pair these together, right? On the site. And then you'll come back once you pair them together. And you probably know this, but just in case you don't, you can pair the both together here. So what are we pairing? We're pairing dogs and BUSD. It should have pulled it up, but you can select dogs, right? Dogs. Select BUSD. And I know a lot of people are confused by these farms, so that's why I'm, I'm taking the time to do this. And then, see, I got some dogs. I got BUSD, the lesser amount, so I'll just put max. And then it puts an equal amount of dogs with it. And then I would simply click supply. I would confirm it in my MetaMask. And then once I do that, I could come here. I could click plus, And then that balance will show here. I would click max. I would click confirm. I would confirm it. And then it would be right here. And then you'll be earning your yield on that daily. Now, as far as the good news going forward, these are notes for, from Forex Shark himself. These are things he said yesterday. He said they can 2x the price of both tokens, pig and dog, right now just with buybacks. This is not including the 40% a year they're getting from lending, pancake swap. Rev did a 20x, had a correction of 50%, and did another 20 or 30x. Okay, so he's using Rev as a comparable. It did a 20x, corrected 50%, and did another 20 or 30x. The only thing that stopped it from continuing to move up was that it was a two week protocol. The animal farm looks exactly how Rev looks. So if we look at the pig token, right here's the one day chart, right? It jumped up to a thousand. Right now it's back down to 430. If we look at the four hour chart, right? We look at the one hour chart, right there. We can see what's going on, right? So it's been pretty consistent since the launch, right? And I'm thinking we're gonna see a nice pump according to what he's saying. And the information that he's given, let's look at the one hour on the dog token, similar pump, very consistent, pretty stable in the price range, right? So let's see why he's saying it's going to pump. Tokens are very clear, making very clear bottom signals. He has deals with DAP radar and DEX tools. He didn't want anti-bot contracts exposed. Now they're getting audited after the launch is over. Had anti-bot measures built into the contract. Millions of dollars came in from bots ready to buy. He says he rescued 95% of investors' funds by launching this way. If he didn't do it, bots would have bought millions at launch and dumped on everybody, crashing the price 95%. The Manor Farm, this is important, went two weeks and went slightly under $200 million total value locked in two weeks. The Animal Farm broke $300 million in like 12 hours, okay? So the first day, the animal farm brought in more TVL than two weeks of manor farm. There's way more people that are aware of the animal farm now. And in my opinion, it has even greater potential. So look at this. He set a limit for the dog token slightly over 100 million TVL. Security protocol kicked in and paused the dog token. That's what happened. That was some of the issues yesterday with the contracts being paused and all. Pigpen has 1.9 million to pay out, another 4 million to inject into it. That alone will 4 or 5x the daily payout of dog tokens in BUSD. Manor Farm, six times the TVL in the first 12 days. 
he expects the animal farm to outperform that. And one thing about him, this guy's very smart. He knows his numbers. He knows his tokenomics. He's, he's very smart, you know, and his prior projects have all performed very, very well. That means payouts in the pig pen would increase by six times. BUSD carries over will compound that another 4x. Expect payout in pig pen to increase 9 to 12x, right? Expect the payout in the pig pen to increase 9 to 12x. 30% will be instantly paid out to those in the pig pen. Have a ton of marketing coming out starting Monday. A ton, which is in two days. A ton of capital being generated in cake for buybacks. Enough capital for buybacks right now to 2x the token of dog and pig price. So right now, there's enough capital to double the price of dog and pig. Has enough from what is migrated from L1 and L2 to 2x pig. What was put aside can 2x both tokens right now. Not a one-time thing. Constantly earning from the rehypothecation contract. That is the lending to pancake swap. Have capital for buybacks and are earning more daily. TVL itself is generating rewards for the pig pen. He expects an 8 to 12 increase in BUSD payouts, payouts in the pig pen. Only getting stronger. This is your farm. Compound and live off the dividends. Expects it to blow away Rev's performance. Now we know Rev pre-sale price was $6. Rev pumped to $300. So if he is expecting pig or dog or pig and dog to blow away Rev's performance, you are looking at a massive, massive pump. Shout out to Rich for joining the Patreon. So, expect better mechanics, dynamic emissions rates, renewable BUSD, payouts, earning 3x more capital on the back end from rehypothecation, buys dogs and pigs and burns, more users now, have enough money to 2x the dog and pig tokens and 12x the payouts in the pig pen. I know I'm repetitious with some of this, it's for a reason. There's no other project he knows of that was able to take $3 million that was intended to drain 95% of the capital and took it and locked it as liquidity. Going big time on Marketing Monday, bots hit, contracts were paused a few times. He blacklisted the bots. 30 million came in at the launch of the Manor Farm. Just under two weeks, it went to under 100 million. Look at this. 300 million came in on day one of the Animal Farm. That is 10 times the TVL in one day. Okay? So that tells you the potential of the Animal Farm. Just under two weeks, it went to under 100 million. He expects a 4x instantly when they do buybacks and 8 to 12x in the next week or so based on the increase of TVL. So, in my opinion, that is some bullish news. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment on the video. Like the video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. What do I think is going to happen? I think 4x Shark knows what he's doing. I think... This is going, this has the potential to be massive and I'm definitely invested and I'm going to keep my eyes on it daily. I will keep you updated daily. I'm going to be moving some things around, doing some things, trying some strategies. But as of right now, I'm just going to be yield farming, earning daily, staking the pig in the pig pen, right? Watching the price, expecting over this next week to see some price action increase okay so once again this is not just a pump thing overnight this is more of a mid to long-term investment where you're growing your assets and you're creating passive income for yourself guys if you got value out of this video give me some feedback in the comments like the video subscribe to the channel and until the next video be blessed